Most holy, righteous, lovely, perfect God, I love you. With all my heart, with all my soul, I love you. You mean everything to me, Lord, and everything is you. I love you. I love you. God, you're so wonderful and so incredible. You'll never cease to amaze me. Everything is you, Lord. The air I breathe, the water that I drink, the food that I eat. You're everything. You thought of it all, and you provide for your people. Such a wonderful father, such a wonderful God, almighty, so loving. Oh, hallelujah. And I worship you because you're worthy of all the glory, all the praise, and all the honor. Oh, I love to praise you, to praise you. Your name, Lord, you're so holy, you're so glorious, ineffable, almighty glory, yes, God. I say glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit forever and ever and ever, even forevermore, Father, my beautiful, glorious one, the Holy God, the three gods in one person, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, you are worthy to be praised. There's no one like you. There's no one like you. No one. There's no one like you, Welcome to today's broadcast. This is Apostle Esther Joy. In love with my Heavenly Father, my Lord God Jesus, my God the Holy Spirit. Where I decrease and welcome them to increase. 
This ministry is in the hands of the Lord. Jesus Christ reigns. Hallelujah. And the Holy Ghost is God over this ministry. Able to just run freely. Use me, Holy Spirit, as your vessel to feed myself, my household, as well as your people. Oh, how I praise the Lord, somebody, this morning. How I love him and lift my eyes before him, my God. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb we say glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. For there is none like him, nowhere. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, I tell you, we can search throughout all eternity and not find anything in anyone like the Most High, Glorious Holy God, Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, and the Holy Spirit. My God, my God. I give him praise. I give him praise, I give him praise. And I tell you the spirit of the Lord as I was dwelling in his presence and just calmly just praising and listening that that the Lord would speak to me about what he is doing in this hour. Glory to God. I hear the Lord says that Pharaoh must come down. And I said, Lord, what in the world did you just say? I thought, he says, it is time for the people to see. And see the right hand of God on behalf of those who love me. Behalf of those who are captured, bound up. On behalf of those who have received the promise, the prophetic words, but still unable to get and grasp the fullness of God, the fullness of the blessing, whatever is holding up that thing that's lingering, hallelujah, is not fighting them. It is now fighting me, say of the Lord, and I am in full control, yes, dominion and power, hallelujah, just like in the record of old when I brought out the Israelites, and and that, that defiant one, Pharaoh, hallelujah, and tried to pursue and overtake them on their way out, saith the Lord. And they came to that place called the Red Sea, saith the Father. And God says, many of my people are standing at that very sea spiritually, say of the Lord. Well, God, you have spoke that this is our hour. This is our moment. This is our time, God. And Father, what do we do now? We can't go back or we can't go forward, say of the Lord. But God says, watch me move, say of the Lord. For surely it was me who hardened the Pharaoh's heart. That enemy, that stubborn thing, that stubborn foe. I will say the enemy, the devil himself and his foe and his uh, evil spirits and the human spirits he's using to block the people of God, to hem them in where they had them for so long, had control, tormented them, persecuted them. The oppressors say of the Lord, I wouldn't care who it was. I will say everybody's payroll is different comes in a different form. It could be a family member. It could be a parent. It could be a, 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 a wayward spouse. It could be a, a, an enemy. say It could be those who use dark arts. And it could be Satan himself, say of the Lord. Trying to hem up and hinder ministries and hem up our businesses, hem your children up, keep them captive, keep captive bound those who God have decreed to go free. God says, let me let me, for God says it's Pharaoh, is fighting him now. And this is the hour, and this is the moment, and this is the time, this is the day that the hand of the Lord, will be revealed in this battle, sake of the Lord. I wouldn't care who it is, what barrier, what stronghold, what force, and what spirit. God says the defiant one will meet the power of his hand and his stretched out arm. Somebody better praise him. Hallelujah. I'm going to the book here of uh, Exodus chapter 14. And let's go to 13 first. Hallelujah. When God was bringing out, hallelujah, the Israelites, glory to God. And, and verse 21 says, And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way. 
and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light. Look at that, somebody. To go by day and night. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. The divine protection of God surrounding us like a pillar somebody better hear me of a cloud by day and by night for the Lord is saying hallelujah I am protecting them and the Lord say they are under the shadow of my wings say of the Lord my people that I have deemed freedom but I will say and I see the word freedom F-R-E-E-D-O-M in big capital letters over the heads of the people of God and the children for the Lord is saying, I am ordering a release against the Pharaoh. I am ordering a release of my angelic host. Yes, God says in this moment, I am a terrible God. And I remember the, uh, uh, the word in Psalm 65. He is showing me right now. By terrible things in righteousness will thou answer me. God says, get ready for his terrible hand, for his terrible moves that will thwart, that will disrupt and destroy the Pharaohs that are standing in our way. Look at God. Now we're going to go over to uh, Exodus 14 and uh, verses 4 says, and I will harden Pharaoh's heart that he shall follow after them and I will be honored upon Pharaoh and upon all his hosts, that the Egyptians may know that I am the Lord. And they did so. Somebody tell, uh, I tell you, I know that someone under the sound of my voice and myself and different ones are dealing with a defiant foe. Somebody better hear God. And this is where the Lord God does his best work. How many know that even from before the foundations of the world, the Lord already foreknew this would happen? And this is the God who does his finest work. Hallelujah under what we call pressure. But at the last given moment, I tell you, the ribbon is about to break. The chain is about to break. The, uh, the, 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 the cords will snap because the Lord God is wroth against Pharaoh. And I tell you, he's been wroth. I hear the Lord say a long time, for the Lord has witnessed our suffering. He has witnessed the persecution. He has witnessed say, the abuse, somebody, and God is wroth. Now here, it says right here, that the Lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. This is when, the I will say, he takes the sword out of the people's hand. And he takes up the battle. I see legions, legions, myriads and multitudes of warring angels, archangels, even the destroyer of Jeremiah 51 and 56, Pharaoh, Jezebel, controlling spirits, powers, principalities, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places are coming down. And here in verses 17 again, this is verses chapter 14. We're in the book of Exodus 17, uh, 14 and 17. And I behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians. And they shall follow them. And I will get me honor upon Pharaoh and upon all his hopes. That's everybody, anything to do with the matter. Upon his chariots and upon his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I have gotten the honor upon Pharaoh, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. So I tell you, we are in a time of great deliverance. My God, my God, you're going to say, and I looked in the spirit and I said, my God, Father, you knew that this would happen. And you knew that it would come to this. And you would save this defiant foe to the last, for the last drop. To get the glory and give your people the victory. My God, my God, my God. And let's go to verse 27. 28. 
And the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. And there remained not so much as one of them. But the children of Israel walked up on dry land in the midst of the sea. It's going to be amazing. The highway, the the how the mountains are leveled. And whatever is in the way will be leveled. And we will walk straight across into all that Father God has prepared for us somebody. Did you think God was just going to bring you your stuff without a great display of his power? Did you know that this is, you got to go say, that Pharaoh, that stubborn demon, that stubborn foe, that stubborn enemy, it's nothing but, you got to go say, an opportunity for God to show us who he is. And I tell you, I'm going to go back to um, Exodus 14. And 30 says, And thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And Israel saw that great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptians. And the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and his servant Moses, somebody. And then saying Moses and the children of Israel, we're going to rejoice somebody. This song unto the Lord spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider have he thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song, and he is become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare him in habitation my father's God and I will exalt him for the Lord is a man of war the Lord is his name God says get ready for the dunamis the power of God for an opportunity to see how God is a mighty God among us even among us and Pharaoh and all his horses and chariots and all the Egyptians that were with him. That whole mob that's standing around us, that's standing against us, will go into the sea, somebody. God says, get ready. And I tell you, I am excited about this God. There's no more time, somebody. The decree has been written. And the angelic hopes have been dispatched. Jesus Christ is the King of glory. And I am excited that Pharaoh, that Jezebel, that controlling spirit, them strong men, and all my level sick, their horses and all the riders, and all of those that they were using will go into the sea. Get ready for the clear road forward. We're right on schedule. And we're not late. And we're not behind. Let God display his power. Oh, hallelujah. The breakthrough has come. I seal this word up inside the power of God and the blood of the Lamb. Make a level sigh in Jesus' name that it cannot be stolen or tampered with. In the name and the blood of Jesus, glory to God. We loose the power of God unto this exodus, seek a level sigh. And Father, I thank you that this battle belongs to you. I give you the praise and the honor and the glory for my eyes are stayed upon you, God. We bless your angels that excel in strength that hear your voice and hearken to the voice of your command. Thank you for the miraculous breakthrough and the change and all the blessings that you have prepared for us, O oh God. Thank you, Father. But I will say, God, you have already gone before us. 
You are a pillar by day and a pillar of cloud by night. You are covering our hind parts and all our parts, and you are surrounding us. We, your people, hallelujah, are being set free. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Like and subscribe, somebody. Like us on Facebook, if you will, Apostle Esther Joy. Like us on Facebook, The Blessed Kingdom Life with Apostle Esther Joy. Like us on Facebook at Kingdom Power Ministries, I-N-T-L dot church. Glory to God. Become a partner or just want to sow into the ministry and say, Apostle, I just want to help you and uh, a, a pastor with your travels, with your things you need. as much as money in the accounts that so you can uh, purchase all Oh, I tell you, the uh, new t-shirts just came in by the dozens, all kinds of things, uploading the websites. There's bills for everything, and we don't beg because we trust God, and God has taken care of us because we're doing the work. There's so much work behind the scenes that we could we could use four or five secretaries, I'm telling you right now. And I tell you, I am excited about everything about this ministry, and it's, it's just all the blessing to be with God. I am blessed to be one of his ministers because it keeps me in his presence. And I don't want to be anywhere else but in the presence of God, somebody. Hallelujah. And so if you would like to join us as a partner and, and be blessed as our partners are with us, glory to God for their prayer coverage every day. Our prayer team, we're covering each and every one, coming and going, sleeping and rising. And I tell you, I am excited about everything that God is doing for surely his hand is on Kingdom Power Ministries, International Church, glory to God. And our international is always abbreviated INTL, not the full name, because I think that's another ministry in Africa, and we bless them. But ours is Kingdom Power Ministries, INTL dot church, glory to God. And so if you would like to sow or become a partner, go to www.kingdompowerministriesintl.com and click become a partner if that is you will fill out the contact form and request partnership your name address email and phone it's all confidential and uh and, or if you want to uh, just uh donate you can click the donation button and sow your first seed hallelujah through the givelify uh church giving app or with paypal just uh click the donate paypal button link or through ca the cash app button glory to god or you can write to us as many are doing and Kingdom Power Ministries, INTL dot church, post office box 381034, Clinton Township, Michigan, 48038, glory to God. And I tell you, the move is on, Pharaoh and all his horses, chariots, his helpers, and human spirits, whatever it is, whoever it is. You're coming down. You're moving out the way. Glory to God. By the powerful hand and stretched out arm of the living true God. I tell you, I would not want to be on the other end of his wrath. My God, my God. And I tell you, I see breakthrough and breakout over every blessing. It's like a dam's going to break. And rivers, you can I will say, of backed up blessings and all the things that God has for us is coming forth. Somebody, y'all better get ready for what I see. And I tell you, I am excited about this glory to God. And not a feeble one, not a sick one will be among any of us, glory to God. So I tell you also, for those who want to join in on the powerful conference call on tonight, October the 4th, glory to God, you check with the website, glory to God, and the ministry events, glory to God. We don't like to just uh, keep talking about all these things. It's for he so ever will, hallelujah, will get the blessing. Glory to God. And I tell you, I am excited about the Lord on tonight. I am excited about him and what he's doing. For Pharaoh is coming down. Jezebel, you're coming down. All you blockades, you're coming down. We're going forward. This is the kingdom of the Most High God. And the Lord of hosts is with us. I love you all. Shalom.